Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 3 with Theodore Remington. But last time, we tried to work together with uh, with the Gift Yankee because they were s it was somewhat p polite. They should have made us suspicious in the first place. And uh, yeah, Flack Gift was like making all fancy promises and screaming about being obeyed like a lunatic and everything. Uh, we decided not to kill the strange dream visitor when she uh, put herself at our mercy and we got back and the inquisitors all attacked us but it seems like they were always going to try and attack and kill us because of the whole you know purification bits which uh, I think Lizelle still don't uh, doesn't understand means death it's a euphemism you see she still has trouble grasping this whole situation. We'll let her stew on it for a bit. For now, we can maybe try and get some yeah, answers out of this visitor. Corpse seems willing to speak, but not to its killer. Hmm. I always find that option curious because I don't see another way how that uh, how that Inquisitor dies except by our hand. I'm curious why they programmed it in. Anyway, I already looted most of this room. Uh, we got some interesting stuff out of it. A halberd, a strange ring, which is very good for uh, for uh, spell blades and such. So maybe this might be good for us as well. I'll consider it because it does yeah extra psychic damage if we concentrate, which you know we sometimes do, but not always. Warlocks it's very good for. And rangers as well. Uh, Silent Revenge. Very specialist equipment. Not that great. Maybe maybe for Lazelle. It does have bones. Yeah, Lazelle doesn't actually have any decent helm slot. So we can give that one to her. It's better for a gift Yankee. Because it gives action. bonuses for them. So. There we go. Actually, see your hair. How nice! I've got a long road ahead. Mm, what else? Uh, we found the skin burster, which is uh, plus one halberd. Pretty decent. I I know I never don't get what force conduit exactly is. There's a few items of stuff that I don't quite. So what is force conduit? Uh, against it is reduced by one per turn. Oh, that's four or more remaining. It deals one in six meter. That's very specific. I, I, I don't think that's terribly handy. Uh, what else did we find? Uh, that is the most important. Oh yes, there was like one item I which we immediately equipped to Gale, the Necklace of Elemental Augmentation. When one of your cantrips deals acid, cold, or fire, or lightning, or thunder damage, which for wizards is pretty much almost guaranteed that you're going to be doing that, add your spellcasting modifier to the damage dealt, which is nice. It just makes his cantrips better as a wizard pretty much. And uh, when you deal acid gold through and spell using Cantit, that element infuses your weapon. Not that important, but you know, it's a nice combo. Never a dull moment. Maybe they could, he can use the convert ring, I don't know. Uh, glass of belligerent sky? I don't know. When the wearer deals thunder damage, lightning damage, or radiant damage, which does happen, especially with the priests. Uh, reverberation. I don't know what reverberation is exactly. Reverberation. The fact that it has a minus one penalty to strength, dexterity, and constitution saving throws per remaining turn. When the entity has five or more reverberation, it takes thunder damage and falls prone. Condition is removed uh, afterwards. That's not so bad actually. Though I don't think it's gonna proc very often. Let's think on it. Keep it in our inventory. And then a bunch of... Uh, Need to find a way forward. Okay. Uh, there's this book. Let's read it. The page of this book has been entirely ripped out and replaced by one crudely pasted message in the common tongue. 
Please note that any literature containing the below topics is strictly prohibited. If it's found in your possession, it will be confiscated. If you are found to be reading it, you will answer to Kithrak Terrazin herself. Uh, subject. Orpheus. We can understand that. Infernal Metals. That's a curious one. Magic of the Undead. More curious. I don't see a specific reason for that one unless they have a big necromancer problem. And besides that, we have a bunch of gift yankees. Intelligence concerning the weapon. In the midst of intricate carvings of the slate, one word in the common tongue is repeatedly leaps out repeatedly. Your own name. I assume they mean actually Theodore. Oh there. So yeah, they definitely already knew that we had it. to read the other one please uh, no. okay. just have to do it no locations of the weapon oh report from numerous tower so if you can run carved into it below them is prone a translation on the common tongue you were right moonrise tower is the is the place uh, Cultists uh, follow the cultist trails, as you asked. Led me all the way up, up there. Signs of illicit activity for sure. Tadpole sort of wandering around in uniform. Didn't manage to break in, but suffice to say, there's definitely something afoot. Recommend you send this report directly to the palace of Sosoros. Coming back shortly to collect my pay. Ah, so this was probably one of the mercenary reports. Weapons. No locations. Not light camp, common camp, moonrise towers. Hushlock Voss. The slate is densely packed with carvings. A few words occur throughout. Vos, Hushlock, Flakev, Loyalty, and a note has been written over the text in common. Voss, traitor? Hmm. Ran into Voss before. Curious. Okay, what was that? Let us still look for stuff over here. Oh, I want to look at the display case, please. More frost boots. Okay, and a strange chunk of amber. This it seems a little underwhelming for a holy relic. Yes, it should be a hammer of some kind or a gun. Lathander blesses the rising bountiful sun. Lathander bids the setting sun a fond farewell. Huh. Let me just see if we go by this compass, they are looking the wrong way that's a hint because they are going north and south and that's not where the sun rises and falls even in the fantasy forgotten realms it's not oh well let's loot first potions always lovely See what we can do here. Ah, yes, that's good. We can turn. Ah, uh, let's see. Lathander blesses the rising, bountiful sun. Sun rises from the east. So, if we go by the compass, east is at our back. So. so, there's absolutely no sun down here. The statue oh, starts to rotate, damn thing is but its rusty shot. mechanism jams oh, stuck. Okay, well we have 
It took me a while to figure this one out, but I remember this one. So we can just maybe just uh, squeaky wheel gets the grease. This situation. If I have some grease, let's see. There we go, grease. Now it goes. Yeah, so setting sun obviously goes to the other direction. The statues reveal the hidden door. Curious. Well, handy. Okay, let's move this one actually. I would like to move it on the side, please. Thank you. This one. Okay, that's just weird. What the fuck is happening? Did I stick these two together? Apparently. Well, that's weird. I'm Spider-Man now. So, down the hidden door we go to probably find the blood of the thunder. Because the thing in the display case was a fake! Secret stairway. Remarkable that this stayed hidden all this time. Yes, it seemed very obvious. If thou readst this, trespasser, turn back, lest your life be forfeit. But what if I was a trespasser that doesn't read? Okay, let's see. How do we turn this on? Ah, apparently we could smash that. Or shoot it, I guess. Can I shoot it? Very weak. This is not a very effective way of, the, of smashing it. There we go. Okay. Guess we should still be away from there. Ah yeah, that's a trap. Someone just get the bombs. Guys! What the fuck, you idiots? Okay. Reloading them because I'm not wasting a rest scroll on this nonsense because they cannot figure out to stay back. There we go. This time the fools did not just all went and follow me because I put them on. Like, you know, not follow. I think we might keep it that way. Aren't really helping with the matter here. Okay, so that's a big dark chasm that kills people. We already found that out earlier. Don't see a shield here, but the, is this little cave? Oh well, that's uh, easy. Now we can actually smashy smashy it. Here we go. I really should make these machines sturdier. I hear trap. Where's the trap? There's the trap. Guidance and go. There we go. I would like a portable for a thing of that, that would be cool. Ah, okay, there's the glowy thing. So we grab the crossbow again and shoot at it till it breaks.
There we go. Any more notes and threats? Lathander's light may be infinite, but his mercy is not. Return. Uh -huh. Now. Ooh, the big sun priests are threatening me! The Morning Lord's wrath awaits, heretic. Retreat whilst thou can. Ooh, I'm so scared! Now, can't we can invent some pro proper death, death traps and the like? This was easy. Wow, this looks fancy. An ornate mace hovers before you, suspended in a shaft of brilliant light. A fist-sized piece of amber flecked with crimson is set in the handle, emitting ah. a radiance all its own. This mace certainly has a very unusual design. Oh, right. I wish I had made that history. Yeah, so, smart thing. Do not grab this just yet. And you know what? Here is a crest panel. We did solve that puzzle of the Dawn Masters and got the Dawn Masters crest. So we can just stick that in there. I mean, this is very pretty machinery. And we get it nicely. Hmm, I like the heft of this thing. Okay, so that is a nice way we can get it without any trouble. But uh, what happens if we maybe want a bit of trouble? Maybe that's more fun. Let's see what happens if we don't stick the crest in. Okay, so we have the base back in here. What if we just, you know, reach in and grab this base? Yes! He recalls all the measures meant to keep you from reaching this place. Taking this mace would surely lead to something quite disastrous. Cool! I want to see what happens! Everyone disapproves! Yeah, I like the heft of this thing. Ooh, machines turn on! I like it! Hey! hey. turns on. Oh, it's a laser! Everything uh, is in motion. All within these walls are doomed to destruction unless you act. Get me out of this thing before the whole building collapses. I'll work yeah. the Someone find a way out of here. Okay, so yeah, we need to sort of, uh, from what I understand, we need to destroy this uh, thing, or these things. So, now there is a trick here, I believe, because if you can jump pretty high, which I can, you, know, you see that? You can just jump onto the ring over the force field. And now we technically could escape, or we could stop this thing, which we're going to try and do. We're going to try and stop this thing. 
Um, so let's see next week. Let's read up because these have a few resistance, a few weaknesses. It's very resistant to piercing and necrotic, immune to psychic and poison, and radiant, which is bad because that's pretty much all we're, we're best with. But do we have? No, we don't really have much in the way of. Uh, this other weapon types. Let's look in our inventory. Do we maybe have some throwing weapon or something? I think it's time to throw some alchemist fire here. Okay, I don't know why that's death, but sure. Well, it's something. Not much. I wonder if maybe shooting it with a bow might yield better results. Yeah, it yields much better results, so we are going to keep doing that instead. Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. Can we maybe jump up here? I suppose we could run out and try and solve uh, it from the outside. I'll see that might, uh, might be a decent solution here. I will try actually in finishing it like this. Uh, we cannot jump on top of the pillars, that's unfortunate. We can't really hit it with our melee weapons. I'm actually going to do the jump. Let's see if we can stop this from the outside. And we don't have a move left. Okay. One with the weave. Okay. This will definitely have to be up for uh, for Gale. Because Gale can do like, you know, elemental damages. So what does the most damage we can do? And we have to do the force damage, that should work. Oh dang it, just one point off. Pity. Let's get on with it. Well we can at least then destroy this one thing with uh There we go. That went kaboom. Excellent. I don't know if we are getting this, this destroyed in three turns. Can give it a go. Does this actually work? No, can't be done on in and of the thing. Okay. Something to break there? No, okay. That's not bad. I'm not doing much damage, but are doing some damage there. And might as well jump down there so we can escape. I'm fading fast. I must heal. Yeah, no time for that there, Dr. Jones. Yeah, a battle. Honestly, maybe we should have Blazel actually add to the shooting here. An efficient path. And you shall find me. Okay, then definitely up for Gale next. Uh, level two. This might actually. Dang it, doesn't finish it. Oh well. Way to go still. It's 
So Have it's to keep pushing. gonna be one per turn, apparently. There we go. Yeah, one destruction per turn. That should bring us uh, out in time. Oh, I crave blood. Energy portal. Oh, we're already at our turn. Okay. Uh, Brace actually does extra damage, so let's use that. And do as much shooty shooty bang bang damage as we can with these things. Alright, what now? I am sort of curious if uh, Guiding Bolt might not be more efficient. Okay. Gail should be able to do this with a level two. Torment. You gotta be kidding me! Just the one left. Oh well. Most excellent. Gonna cut this to the wire, apparently. You can leave. I must keep going. No one stop me yet. Last round! Okay, everyone, do your best! Never mind. This may be the end, our only friend, the end. Assume nothing. Kaka. Excellent choice. Okay, if you cannot finish this with the... Uh... I swear to God, he's just cursed. Like it's well, be done. well, up to Shadowheart to finish it. Please don't roll our ultimate lows here. Hurrah! We were actually weren't in that field anymore. That's the way to do it without actually uh, getting the crest in. Everything. Let's put the crest in now anyway. Maybe we can get two bloods of the Thunders. Yeah. Moving in. Oh. We do get a bit more favor if we not destroy the device. So maybe we actually will go for not destroying the device, but destroying the device is, is more satisfying, I find. And that also destroyed... Well, you can actually get past the Give Yankee. We'll deal with the Give Yankee real quick. Ah, I think this is the way you can actually disable those force fields. I did not know that. I never learned that. So, okay, so if you just want a quick run, destroy that thing, run out. That works. We endangered the crash and its people. And to what end? A cool thing! Does it matter? We managed to stop it. Such insouciance. You cannot comprehend the destruction we nearly triggered. I mean, I can show you the destruction nearly triggered. Hang on, let's do that! That is what would have happened if we hadn't stopped it. Epic laser death boom boom. I think you better get away.
way. Those get Yankee aren't so lucky. Oh, and the rest of the group <laughs> didn't, didn't make it at all. Okay, why was I take why am I taking damage? Uh, anyway, yeah. Well, but that did not happen. This uh, world did not happen. We uh, probably did the right thing and put like the uh, clue in. So. Quite a heavily guarded treasure. Good job we got past those protections. Yes. The tighter the security, the juicier the prize. Speaking of juicy prize, yes, let's have a look at the Blood of Flathander uh, weapon. Uh, we didn't equip it. It should be somewhere in our inventory. Here we go, Blood of Lathander. Uh, it is a plus three mace. And, uh, yeah. Thanos Blessing. Once per long rest, uh, when your hit points were reduced to zero, you heal a bunch. That's nice. Thanos Light sheds holy light in the six meter radius in combat. Fiends and undead standing in the light are blinded unless they succeed a constitution saving throw. And you can cast Sunbeam several times. Or oh, once per day. Yeah, that's very nice. Uh, 1 to 12. Or 7 to 12. It's not as efficient as. But honestly, I think we might take this as our offhand weapon. Yeah, that works. Uh, why is the longsword doing more damage? I don't think that's right. Yeah, yeah. Let me actually see. We switch to this. S to twelve. Yeah. And it's actually seven to twelve. I do think this is better as a secondary because it doesn't offer any specific uh, type of uh, weapon attack or anything, unlike the uh, Faith Breaker, which offers like uh, the stun attack thing, which is very nice. These boots have seen everything. So yeah, Blood of the Thunder, Big Hammer, like it. So, as we are all dealing with the treasure, uh, the mighty treasure of the blood of Lathander, um, I think join me next time when we're going to have to be fighting our way out of here. Because now we don't have a magical teleporter that will teleport us out of that monastery. So, join me next time for the slaughter! Till then, bye bye!